Hello and welcome. My name is Jerry with Wall Mount World. Today in this video, we're going to show you how to attach the TV's VESA adapter plate to the back of the TV. Now when you take your TV out of the box, the first thing we want to look at is the contour of the TV. Like in this case, it's flat on the back. Now your TV may be like where it has an offset at the bottom, which typically, if it's an offset being thicker, it's always at the bottom, you know, the, as it goes to the top, it can get thinner. But there's some TVs that have like a one inch, you know, thicker bottom or a one and a half inch thicker bottom of an offset. And what I mean by that is like when your vertical rail is up against your TV, like you're thicker down here, we may have to uh, put spacers into the top to keep our vertical rail, you know, square with the back of the TV. Next, you want to look at the TV on the back and determine the four mounting holes. Then you want to see like in the area of the center of the TV where the plate is going to attach. Make sure there ain't no like power plugs or you know, HDMI cables or RCA, any kind of plug-in that will be affected by the plate covering it. I mean, if you do have a plug-in in that area in the center of these four mounting holes, you're more than likely going to have to do some offsets, you know, to space it outward to get it away from it. I mean, there are a few TVs that are made that way and, uh, you know, hopefully yours isn't because it, like I said, it is a little tougher job to do the install with. Now, in the, in the kit, you get like a bag of bolts like this for the TV and all the hardware. And you may even get an extra one with more, you know, assorted longer bolts and sizes. What I'll do is I'll take the, I want to determine my whole depth. And the reason you wanted to, to determine that is because when you put your screw in the TV and screw it in the back, you don't want to take that screw and go beyond where it bottoms out and go on into the TV and damage it. You want to get find the, just the right screw that'll be just shy of being at the bottom of the hole when tight. I'll take my thinner screw and longer. I'll put it in the hole to see, that's about three quarters of an inch of depth. If I was to use like the longer bolt in the kit and put it like that, you can see I'm about an inch too long. This longer bolt would bottom out and then go on into the TV causing damage. I'll take my shortest bolt. You, you can compare it based on the bag. Just set your screw up by the bag. And right here on the shortest bolt in the kit is going to be our ideal solution. You know, we know that the vertical rail is about a sixteenth thick. And so with the vertical rail on this screw, we'll be, we'll be able to tighten it up all the way without bottoming all the way out. In some, some instances though, Whenever you do have to use spacers, you're going to have to use a longer screw. You know, when you slide the screw through the spacer, you got to see what's sticking out. I mean, in this case, this would be going beyond what we need. We may have to put one or two washers as needed to prevent it from sticking in the TV. But, but again, look at that whole depth and don't go beyond it. Now, the vertical rail the flat side is the side going toward the TV. The side with the slopes, it goes outward toward the wall. All right, you have holes at the top, slots at the bottom. And this TV, for an example, is gonna be a Vessel 400. That means I'm gonna be at the top hole and the bottom slot. Your TV may fall anywhere in between that. It has a variety of spaces to fit any pattern in between here. So I'm gonna start out with showing you one way of doing it with the TV sitting upright. Again, you know, if you're sitting your TV upright, make sure it's not gonna fall, you don't wanna crack your screen. And if you are laying it down, just make sure you don't bust the face of it when you're attaching your, your hardware. So I'm attached to vertical rail. I'm gonna start with one of them. I'm leaving it loose and I'll show you why. I'm gonna take my adapter plate with it loose and I'm just gonna slide it in. Like so. Now I'm gonna come back and touch my other vertical rail. Now I'm attached to the bolts to it, put it on the other side, finish it. Now, once again, I'm not putting them all the way tight just yet. Now, 
Now here's why I'm not tightening up. Now that I got my vertical rails, you know, the arms attached, I can slide my plate as needed for centering. You know, ideally you want to keep your plate centered square to your two vertical, you know, your arms. Uh, with Now, for some reason or another, when you mounted it, you know, like when you're looking at like laying out your mount and stuff, if you were off center, say a half inch or quarter inch, you could adjust how this, this lands on the back by shifting it left or right before you tighten up the, you know, the, the sliders. But again, if you do move the TV over on that where it's not like square, you may get to have like a little bit of unlevelness. You'll have to adjust the roll of the TV because the TV may be heavier to one side than the other. But once again, the roll adjustment will take that out. On this one, we're about two and a half slots, two slots and about a half from being, you know, for the being square. Take your slider. You got a flat side and a concave side with two screw holes. Now, when I put my slider in, if my arm here was toward the outside, I would use the outer hole. But being how my arm is toward it shoved in, I just use the first hole in when it gets to it. And you got four Phillips head screws in the bag, they're little small screws. Put them in for the sliders. I haven't tightened it up yet, and I'll show you why in a second. Just get it started. This is why I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to shove it to the right a little bit. That way I know that when I put my slider in, it's not being blocked. My hole's not being blocked by one of the, like the, the cross section of the slot system. And you can use your screwdriver to help you slide the sliders in as needed. Now all four sliders are in, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. The sliders are tight, that'll prevent the TV from shifting along that wall plate when it's mounted, it's a solid base. Now I'm gonna finish with the four outer bolts, tighten them on down. All right, job is done. Now, whenever you are getting ready to take your TV now and lift it to the arm, be sure you have, you know, at least two to three people helping you do it because the last thing you want to do now that you've got this far is drop this TV. Again, I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you have any questions or comments, contact us at sales at walmartworld.com. Again, my name is Jerry and I'd like to thank you.